This is about as close as any Ukrainian politician would get to Russia. It's two and a half kilometers to Russia, that way, the mayor tells us. He's brought us to his hometown of Kazacha Lopan near Kharkiv to show us where Russian occupiers interrogated and tortured civilians. It was in this basement room where they brought local people to be interrogated. In the main torture chamber, they used electric currents and hot wax and needles, lifted people to the ceiling, breaking their hands and breaking their ribs. One morning, Russian soldiers came for the mayor. He wasn't at home, so they grabbed his mother instead. They kept her in the snow for about an hour in her underwear while the house was searched. After that, they took my mother to the basement where they assaulted her with electrical currents and psychologically pressured her. Unlike in other parts of Ukraine, the people in this village had no chance to flee when Russia invaded. The war began, the troops crossed the border, and almost immediately this village was under Russian occupation. 27 torture chambers were found in the Kharkiv region after liberation. And police are vowing to track down all perpetrators. Police investigators have registered more than 11,000 criminal cases on war crimes and for us every case is a priority, especially cases where people were tortured. Torture was a norm for the Russian military. This is a violation of all international rules, all international laws. It is a war crime. Even if those who committed these acts of torture have returned to Russia, they may be trialled in absentia. Eventually, when this town was liberated, the mayor was reunited with his mother. I've been waiting, she said. I knew you would return. But the scars remain from the months of terror that all endured. Steve Kinane, ABC News, Kozacha Lopan.